Things better than playoff hockey. Tacos, puppies, the innocence of childhood. Fine, just tacos, just because you can't put hockey in a tortilla. You already know that the Rangers are resting after beating the Habs a few days ago and the Kings needed another Game 7 to take down the Blackhawks, but here we are. Kings, Rangers, LA, New York, East Coast, West Coast, Tupac, Biggie, the sun versus the cold, pizza for skinny people. Let's do this. Five factors that will absolutely decide who raises up Lord Stanley's Cup in a couple weeks. Number one, goaltending. Lundqvist has the clear advantage over Quick. 928 save percentage has been huge all playoffs long, but Quick has been good, has the big stage experience, has Drew Doughty in front of him, probably the best defenseman on the dang planet, but Lundqvist is just too good, 934 and 931 save percentage the past couple playoffs. So even if the Rangers don't take it, it's not on him. Number two, scoring depth. Gotta give the edge to the Kings here. Between Kopitar, Carter, Williams, Gabarik, they can come at you in waves. Especially important when they get down early, which they do sometimes. Still like the Rangers and what they've been able to do with St. Louis, Stepan, the scorching hot McDonough. I still gotta go with the Kings here. Too many options. Number three, battle testiness. Not sure if that's an actual word there, but the Kings have gone through three of hockey's best seven regular season teams in Anaheim, San Jose, and Chicago, all in game sevens, but the Rangers themselves have been to a couple game sevens. I like both of these teams, but with where the Kings were against Chicago, I gotta say, the mental belief, just stronger in LA. Number four, coaching. Daryl Sutter has done a very good job with LA, but the Kings almost did just gack away the Chicago series. On the other side, Vigneault has done a fantastic job with the Rangers in his first season, balancing injuries, emotional issues. So I'm gonna go AV here. And number five, momentum. Do you believe in the Kings riding that wave after winning that huge, huge overtime game seven against Chicago? Or do you believe in the rest that the Rangers have gotten a big advantage over the Kings in that department? I like the Kings to go up early with their momentum, but the Rangers may be up after three games. Ultimately, I think home ice wins it out. Seven games, Kings, they're gonna take it. And finally, here is the biggest goal in the history of this week. Alec Martinez, overtime, Kings over Hawks. This is why we're here.